is incomplete. And now the Oregon defensive backs are either thinking big hit or INT. And that time, it might have been two Oregon defenders bumping into each other. And it might be Alex Molden. Looks like he had the wind knocked out of him. Uh, Alex is probably thinking, if I had just intercepted that last ball, I wouldn't have taken this hit. Well, you know, the area that appears to be his point of concern there, he got a pretty good hit from his own guy. Looks like he got a knee. But you know, we're talking about the thought processes that quarterbacks go through, and you put some pressure on them and, and hit them and knock them down, even though you don't stop them from throwing the football. One of the things, Stockholm, uh, it looks to me that he is so used to Oregon playing man-to-man -man coverage that when they throw in a new wrinkle, play a little zone, he's just anticipating that it's man, and he's, he's thrown the ball in there twice against what looks like a zone coverage, and they've almost been picked off. You know, I'm not sure that Vegas really has a third quarterback uh, that they can put in there and, or and somebody, that, Yeah, or somebody they don't want to redshirt. Look at Rich Brooks, and that to Rich's right is the strength and conditioning coach Jim Radcliffe and Alex Molden will go out of the ball game. Uh, it was actually Herman O'Berry that got tangled up with Alex. You think those strength and conditioning coaches lift before the game just so they'll be kind of pumped up for when they get on the sidelines? You betcha, looking good. Point to pump, a you up. Well, he's pumped the Ducks up, and I'll tell you, the Ducks have done their kicking game as uh, 